Good morning, agents. It is Monday, 4 January 2021, and it is time for What's Happening in Division 2. And we're going to get right to the allotted loot. In Dark Zone West, Douglas and Harding. In the South, Seska Veropa. In the East, is Rifles. Mirakami, a West End. Sokolov's Concern at Federal Emergency Bunker. 511 uh, Tactical Gear in Foggy Bottom. Foundry Bulwark at Potomac Event Center. Remember, our legendary uh, this week is, and the stronghold, is at Roosevelt Island, and that's backpacks today. Lincoln Memorial's ongoing directives. West Potomac Park gear system mods. Tidal Basin, which is always a stronghold, is holsters. For you snipers, aces and eights at Constitutional Hall. DCD is shotguns. For you looking for the Scorpio, uh, that might be a, a place to get a second one or uh, drop one for a friend if you already have one. Hardwired in downtown West. Bank headquarters, Wivering Gear, a uh, Wivern Ware. Around the White House's future initiative. Downtown East is submachine guns. <clears throat> Grand Washington Hotel is True Patriot. District Union Arena is Alp Summit. Federal Triangle, Hunter's Fury. Providence Defense at Jefferson Trade Center. Viewpoint Museum. Fenris Group. East Mall is Marksmanship Rifles. American History Museum Rigger. Air and Space Body Armor. Capitol Building Golden Gear. Southwest is Assault Rifles. Space Administration is China Light Industries. Jefferson Plaza is Bellstone Armory. <clears throat> Up in Constitutional Hall is a chance for Empress International. Manning Zoo is Badger Tough. Coney Island Amusement Park is Negotiator's Dilemma. Coney Island Ballpark, Hannah U Corp. Camp White Oak is Walker, Harris and Co. Pentagon is Tip of the Spear. And at DARPA is Light Machine Guns. New York City today is um, let's go ahead and travel there make sure we get everything correct so remember today is our last day to get um, the season um, Pass uh, events done. The good thing is it's the manhunt. So we can do that throughout the rest of the year. So we got five more weeks to finish that. And um, remember that uh, the apparel event has one more week as well. But tomorrow we're going to be able to start our speed runs in the Kestrel League. So that's going to be a neat uh, addition, and um, I enjoy that. 
how do you guys feel about the leagues? Do you like enjoy and running through those uh, speed runs? I really like it right now because I really enjoy playing with the Hunter's Fury and boy, there's a, uh, uh, that lady death is a way to run through a, a raid a lot quicker. It makes you run faster, makes you run through it. So yeah. Oh, okay. So we're at New York in civic centers, Gilgard at the tombs is skill attachments. Richter and Kaiser at two bridges. Overlord armaments at tankers. Eclipse Protocol at Financial District. Aroldi Holdings at Wall Street. Gloves at Liberty Island. Grupa Stamra in Battery Park. Pathway Park, which looks like it's going to be our daily, uh, seasonal daily, is Pistols. So, talking about our dailies, let's check out our projects. So, the seasonal pass project is Pathway Park. Today's regular daily project is Bank Headquarters with the activities in Downtown West. Friendly uh, checkpoint resupply, um, two named enemies and three activities in downtown west the weekly is still bank headquarters which surprise surprise is a daily so uh to round that out and we need to do uh, according to this five activities for our weekly so we need to do three for our daily so you get your five done for the weekly and you can wrap up this weekly project as well so as you're working on this 366,750 bonus with the five shade calibration tokens, you can also get another shade calibration token and an additional 146,700 points with whatever difficulty you run bank headquarters on and get those points. So you can see that adds up uh, pretty quick. So... Um, that's a way to progress through there. So our daily project in the dark zones today is an extraction from the dark zone. Uh, recover a drop from the dark zone west. Um, clear a landmark in dark zone west. Neutralize five agents in the west. The weekly is still six conflicts. Two wins in conflicts, neutralize 20 agents in conflicts, then extract two items from any dark zone, and then neutralize 10 agents. Remember our season progression uh, milestones are the 55 um also, some in uh, 90 for the waveform. And remember that if you haven't done your previous manhunts, at 58, you can unlock Season 1. At uh, 53, you can unlock Season 2. And at 48, you can unlock Season 3 and get those directives done. So... Um, if I remember right, Schaefer is Coney Park Amusement Park. Um, don't really remember what horn it is. Was he? Was he the? Oh, uh, that's a uh, uh, Schaefer was um, the amusement park. Um, Guys, put the uh, put down in the comments if you remember what season two was. Was it at uh, the ballpark, Coney Island ballpark? Maybe uh, I'll have to check. Uh, I'll get you that tomorrow. And fifty-eight was definitely Roosevelt Island. Oh, it, d it says there, dummy me. Tidal Basin. So Hornet is Tidal Basin. So I remember that was a pretty difficult one. Um, 
So if you haven't done it, good luck with that. Tidal Basin is, is tough. So, and remember, if you do any of these on Challenging or Heroic, that is an Xbox achievement. So that's your season overview and the reward system. And remember, today is not really the last day you have to do Kestrel, but it is the last day you're going to get your double XP if you have not got over 10.5 million experience this week. You need to grind your butt off and use as all that or as much as that as you can so you can double what you're going to earn so your double xp ends today but your hunt for kestrel can go on or you can um, replay it over and over again if that's what you want to do now remember to get the xbox achievement the only time you have to bump it up to challenging or heroic is when you actually go after the primary target. Um, so you can do this, all this other stuff on hard um, or better, and it still is going to count. It's still going to get your progression. And you, like I say, you can do this over and over again. And remember, it's Gary Washington Hotel, Jefferson Trade Center, Viewpoint Museum. Um, district union the seven different control points in those areas which is downtown east federal uh, triangle and judicial square and just three bounties in those areas to complete kestrel now those who have done it know that it's um kind of buggy so be prepared for some extra activity there What else is going on today? Uh, our um, Outcast Apparel event. If you haven't had your 24 uh, open caches and completed it, so you can get your this nice little helmet that showed here as the bonus for completing the whole thing. Um, I was really excited about getting uh, Haka, which is uh, the ceremonial dance of recognition uh, some people call it a war dance that is kind of incorrect if you've ever watched the all blacks new zealand rugby team which was uh, uh, some of the world's best rugby players um, are on that they do a beautiful um very uh uh, energizing almost gives you chill uh, goosebumps kind of haka uh, at the beginning of their ceremony um, at, at the beginning of major games um, in honor of that ancestry of the southern pacific island kind of area where the haka is it's uh, takes on its own life and they've kind of brought that more popular to the people that don't know what haka is um, and i've threatened to do a video explaining and showing some of the haka um, uh, the man that plays aquaman um, jason moa um, he did a haka at the world premiere of it with a bunch of the cast members that are polynesian and in um, background uh, I don't know if the uh, Rock uh, has ever done one, but uh, I think he may be of Hawaiian descent, so I, I don't know if he's done any, but um, it's pretty neat. I know the, the Junior Seau's uh, um, life celebration had a ni nice hawk on it, but check it out. Do some research on it. It's worth the effort of seeing what that is and how the um, different uh, Southern Pacific Island uh, descendants have done this ceremonial dance as a beginning of uh, uh, a battle or a challenge or a celebration of life is what it actually is uh, translated into. Um, so 
that's really a neat event. Remember that you uh, there's a lot of builds out there. Remember to grind for that. We got a series coming up talking about some of the, the best pieces that you need to um, optimize and get done. That's why we show you the a lot of loot. Maybe if you're trying to optimize a backpack, you'll want to try to grind through as many uh, and acquire as many backpacks to break down as possible. And by anyway, with that, I think we can cut it short here. We tried to stay on topic without too much ramblings. A few tips and tricks along the way is what I try to add each day. If you have a tip or tr trick that you would like to be featured, and I will call out your name, please put it down in the comments below, and I will add it to tomorrow's uh, What's Happening in the Division and give you a shout-out for suggesting it or bringing it to our attention. This is Bear Essentials. I am Bear Byers. You have a blessed day, and I will see you in the grind.